All right, guys. Well, I'm losing track. I would say this is the tenth day in a row that uh, the Point Lonesome Swamp has been socked in with this thick blanket of fog. You know, you can see a little hazy dot ahead, which is supposed to be the sunrise. You know, this is one of the most glorious sunrises to be found in, uh, in the Oasis of Freedom. And uh, this has been my sunrise for at least the past 10 days. I don't know if there's any end to this. Once again, this is my sunrise, so I'm trying to actually enjoy the, I, I don't know, the Pleistocene-like vibe of the fog over the Point Lonesome Swamp. And it is now Friday morning, December 10th, 2021, and uh, so... The reason I got up this morning at fucking 6 o'clock in the morning was this goddamn barking dog. And I cannot understand where the fucking... I am absolutely mystified where the fucking dog is. <coughs> He's... <coughs> he must be on that, on that boat you just heard. And I'm a little uh, unclear about the boat. It's not an airboat. It's an outboard motor is out there. But this fucking dog, it, it, he just stopped. Uh, of course, uh, when I go out to do a video about this goddamn barking dog, he finally stops barking. This motherfucking dog, wherever the hell he is, and I'm completely mystified where this animal is. He barked non-stop, I mean non-fucking-stop for over two fucking hours. I mean non-stop. He, he never went more than five seconds. And I'm talking about some big fucking, I don't know, German Shepherd kind of dog. It didn't really sound like a hunting dog. It's not like it was a goddamn coon hound with a fucking raccoon up a tree. It was like a goddamn German Shepherd and, and I am completely fucking mystified where this animal was. Uh, either his voice was carrying for more than two miles and you gotta understand I put the fan, I, I, I turned on my fucking electric fan on high all right, I had an electric fan on high trying to drown this motherfucker out. Uh, and, and, and he was so loud, he was over the sound of the goddamn fan. And uh, this is why I have been awake since uh, 6 o'clock this morning. And uh, anyway, it brought to mind uh, two stories as long as I'm sitting here having my... Uh, Save the Planet Organic cup of coffee. I think I might have told these stories before, but I'm just going to sit here and tell a couple of barking dog stories. Uh, and uh, one of them, uh, I was just telling this story to, to Warren. It's when I was renting this house in uh, down there in Peru. Uh, in the village of Calca, in the sacred valley of Peru. Uh, I was renting this house from this dude, and, uh, and across the street was this fucking barking dog. E you know, this incessant fucking barking dog, and I do not get it, and, and it's, and this is going to sound a little bit uh, racist, but maybe it's because it is, I guess, that... I don't know if Latins, Latin Americans, uh, <clears throat> just do not have a sense of hearing. But 
particularly in, in, in Latin America, I'm assuming the owner of this fucking dog this morning was a Mexican. Uh, they do not hear their own fucking dog barking all night. Either they don't hear it or they don't give a flying fuck how it's keeping up the, you know, all of the neighbors. But maybe it's not keeping up all of the neighbors because Latin Americans cannot hear it, 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 it's the same true of, of roosters crowing. They cannot hear dogs barking and roosters crowing all night. Roosters are a whole nother fucking rant. This is a barking dog rat. So anyway, it wasn't just the dog across. It, it was every fucking dog in the sacred valley. And it's like, a, you know, a thousand and one fucking Dalmatians. Where one fucking dog it starts off, and that starts off the dog down the block, and he starts off the dog down the, you know, so pretty soon you have the entire fucking sacred valley, one fucking cacophony uh, uh, of these fucking barking dogs. Now, I'm really trying to figure out where the dude on the outboard motor is. I did not even realize you could take an outboard motor out here. Uh... So anyway, <clears throat> it, I was mostly concerned about the fucking dog right across the street. Uh, I, I even went over there in the middle of the fucking night one night onto the guy's property uh, to, you know, to shut the fucking dog up and, and he just ran under the house barking and growling. You know, I tried to explain to the clueless fucking moron that that his goddamn dog uh, was doing nothing to deter burglars. Uh, absolutely nothing. All, all, all the fucking barking dog was doing was giving the goddamn burglars covering up the fucking sound they were making. And anyway, this guy had no interest in my concern, so I'm talking to my landlord. Uh, <laughs> and this is his advice to me. He said, what you do, Samuel, uh, my name in Spanish is Samuel. He goes, what you do, Samuel, is you go down to the market and you buy, uh, well, in, in Spanish, it's dinamita. And what dinamita is, is a little stick of dynamite. It's a, uh, we used to call them M80s when I was a kid. They look like a little, well, uh, like a little stick of dynamite. If you know what an M80 is, it's this little, you know, like inch long cartridge with this long ass fuse sticking out of the top of it. He goes, you light one of those fucking M80s and launch that motherfucker at that dog and I assure you that you will uh, that will put an end to the problem and I'm saying Kiko I said you're fucking crazy that uh, if I go there and, and lob a fucking M80 uh, at that dog he is going to go into complete absolute fucking hysterics and, and every fucking dog from here to Goddamn Cusco is going to erupt. And Kiko assured me uh, that I was wrong. And uh, so I go down. I said, what the fuck? So I go down to the market. And I, and I get one of these goddamn M80s. They cost 15 cents. I paid 15 cents for this motherfucker. So I bring it back home with me. And... Uh, <coughs> So I, I was on the second story. I was renting an apartment on the second story with uh, a porch overlooking my neighbor across the, the street. And you know how all of the street, all of the buildings are uh, adobe and the streets are cobblestone. I mean, everything is, is just one big acoustic chamber. And uh, so that night, the fucking dog cranks up. Two o'clock in the fucking morning, this fucking dog cranks up. So I go out there on the goddamn porch, and you know the silencio, yeah, right, you know that that dog's barking. Uh, there's probably twenty other fucking dogs barking all over the goddamn village, and I I, I say what the fuck. So uh, 
I, I lit that motherfucker up, that M80 Dinamita, you know, with the sparks all shooting out of the top of the fuse. I lobbed that motherfucker a, across the street. Uh, like, you know, like a little shooting star. Th that son of a bitch w w goes in it, and it detonated, I don't know, probably right before it hit the ground uh, in my neighbor's yard. I don't know if it had actually made contact with the ground. It was probably like, uh, you, you know, the atomic bomb where it blew up but before it actually made contact. And, and good God, guys, when that motherfucker went off, I mean, it sounded like, you know, in the middle of the night, in the middle of all of those uh, stone buildings and wall, stone walls and streets, that son of a bitch sounded like, uh, it sounded like the, the fucking apocalypse. I mean, kaboom! I, I, I mean, my whole fucking house shook. Uh, anybody in that village probably thought that the goddamn Shining Path had been fucking reborn. So anyway, what is your call? What was the response of that dog? That barking dog uh, when that fucking uh, boom went off. Probably about... 20 feet from his eardrums <laughs> is, what, is, is, what, is what I'm guessing. Well, I, I must say that my, my landlord called it right. I, I mean, there was absolute stone fucking silence. It's like I, I thought I'd killed the fucking dog. And, uh, it, and, it, wasn't, and it wasn't just that dog. It was every fucking dog uh, in the Sacred Valley. I mean, I, I, I'm talking complete silence fell over that town. There was not one fucking barking dog in any direction. It was absolute total silence. There wasn't a fucking dog. There wasn't a fucking rooster. And uh, it was, in fact, the single quietest, uh, the single quietest night I ever spent in Latin America in seven years. And, and you can imagine the reaction from that fucker. The next day, the owner of the dog is out uh, there absolutely fucking enraged at me, talking about how I was shooting at his dog, and I, and I showed him the fucking little Dinamita, and he's screaming at me, I know you're up there smoking marijuana, gringo. Uh, I'm calling the cops. You're going to prison for five years for smoking that marijuana that I see and smell, you know, and uh, all this, but it put, it, it put a fucking end to it. I never had to do it again. It, 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 it didn't just work that night. It put an end to the fucking problem. I don't know uh, if he put his dog in the house or, or whatever, but uh, one kaboom put an end to that problem. So uh, I don't know how easy it is to get M80s here in the U.S., but if you're ever traveling in Latin America, guys, if you're listening to this in Latin America, or you're ever traveling in Latin America, you can find these things where you know it's a lot easier to get shit like M8, like M80s. Just go to any of these markets uh, anywhere in Latin America and and explain. You know, it's dinamita, it's little dynamite, uh, and you can get these things and you can fucking sleep at night. Jesus fucking Christ. Wish to hell I'd had one of these motherfuckers last night for this son of a bitch. And as long as I'm telling uh, barking dog stories, uh, I, I've also told this story before, but since I still have some coffee left in my cup, this is when I was uh, camping with my friends outside of Mendocino, California, probably about 10 years ago you know, in the middle of the marijuana growing capital of the world, you know, up in there in the Emerald Triangle. And we were uh, camping out uh, on their property. They live next door to this uh, 
you, you know, to an illegal marijuana farm. And uh, so guarding the marijuana farm was this batshit fucking uh, killer German shepherd. Uh, it was the guard dog uh, that would, uh, you know, take your nuts off if you set one foot on the dude's property. And so anyway, it was a Friday night. I guess it, it, for some reason the dude had to go into town and leave uh, and, and leave his place unprotected. And uh, <clears throat> so he chained the dog up. I, I'm not sure what kind, how a chained up dog is going to protect your marijuana patch. But anyway, so he changed the fucking dog up. Heads out for the night. That motherfucking dog, and, and, and I mean, he started off about 10 o'clock at night. The motherfucker was still going full bore at uh, at uh, at midnight, and you know, I'm sitting there trying to fucking sleep. The goddamn dog. I, I mean, he was at least a quarter mile away, going absolute batshit crazy at the end of this chain. He simply wanted off the fucking chain. He wasn't barking at anything. He was barking to be let off the fucking chain. It is he just wanted to be let off the fucking chain? So it's fucking midnight. This is a you know one of these guard dogs for a marijuana patch. One of the meanest fucking dogs uh, on the planet, and he's chained up. And, and so I announced to my friends, I, I, I said, I can't fucking stand it anymore. I'm going to go let that fucking dog off the chain. And they're, they're going, yeah, like, right, Hamon. Uh, they, they go, we've seen that motherfucking dog. Uh, you don't want anything to do uh, with that fucking dog. Uh, you know, you're, there's no fucking way you're going to go let that dog off that chain. And I said, you just listen. And uh, so uh, they vehemently tried to dissuade me from my mission. Uh, I, I said, I'm going to go let the fucking dog off the chain. So, it's, I mean, it's pitch black fucking dark. I have this weak ass little flashlight. So I leave their property, cross the road, and go up this long fucking winding driveway. We're up there in the redwoods above Mendocino. I'm totally out there by myself, completely unarmed. Uh, and I'm heading up the road towards the, I just follow the sound of the fucking barking dog. And so I come around, you know, holding that flashlight and that fucking dog goes absolutely apeshit. I, I mean, he was the, the goddamn werewolf. He, I mean, he was running against the chain and, you know, trying to snap the fucking collar on it. And, and, you know, lunging against the fucking chain. And I was thinking, if that damn collar snaps, I'm fucking dead. And uh, so I, I get about four feet from the fucking dog. And, and you got to understand, the dog is completely ballistic with rage. He wants to rip my fucking throat out. And I'm sitting there, and I'm standing there with the dog, so I get down, you know, kind of on his level, like, like you do, and uh, so I get down eye to eye, the fucking dog, and, and I'm saying, dude, you need to chill out. It's kind of like my first meeting with Lulu uh, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Very similar to my first meeting with Lulu. And I'm sitting there with this absolutely enraged attack dog wanting to rip my face off. And, and I said, dude, you have got to chill the fuck out. I said, you want off that chain and I want you off that chain. And uh, I mean, I'm looking right into his eyes. You're, you're not supposed to look into a, a, a you know, you're supposed to, uh, they say you're supposed to, you know, like look down at the ground as a bullshit. I was looking right into this dog's eyes from, uh, 
you know, I was within three feet of uh, our eyes where we're like three feet apart from each other. And, and, and I said, I said, dude, I said, you want off that fucking chain. I want you off that fucking chain. I said, there is one way you're going to get off that fucking chain. You're going to let me walk up to you. I'm going to reach down to your neck and I am going to undo that chain and you're going to be free. And uh, I said, you have got to calm the fuck down. I said, I want you to calm down and I want you to sit there. I am getting ready to come over there, put my hand on your throat and take that chain off and you are going to let me. You are not going to bite me. I'm going to let you off that chain and you are free to go, brother. And, uh, <laughs> and he looks at me and he just kind of, he, 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 he completely stops growling and he kind of half sits, half rolls over and just basically offers me his goddamn throat. I, I, I mean, a total stranger to it, a fucking attack dog on a marijuana farm in Mendocino. And uh, I have to admit, it took everything in me, but I very slowly, you, you know, reached my hand out, you know, the back of my hand, so he could sniff the back of my hand and uh, he didn't snap or anything. And uh, then I reached towards his throat and, and, and his whole body tensed. I mean, that motherfucker could have bitten my hand off. He could have taken my entire fucking hand off. Uh, I reached down, I found the goddamn uh, buckle to that leash out there in the middle of fucking nowhere, in the middle of a marijuana farm, and I let that goddamn dog, I unhooked that damn dog, and he had every right at that point to fucking rip my face off, rip my throat out, and, and that fucking dog shot out of there like a fucking rocket. I mean, he shot out of there like a fucking rocket uh, down that driveway as fast and as far as he could get from that chain. Uh, my uh, friends were absolutely flabbergasted when I returned in one piece uh, how I had pulled that off. And uh, we had a very restful night in the Redwoods and uh, I did get the report <laughs> from my buddy that his neighbor showed up uh, absolutely as enraged as that motherfucker down there in Peru, you know, accusing my buddy of letting his dog off the chain. And my buddy like looked at him and said, yeah, right, uh, that, that I'm going to walk onto your fucking property in the middle of the night. And, 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 uh, and, and let that and stick my hand and let that dog off that chain and the owner of the dog agreed that the very notion that anybody would be stupid enough to uh, walk onto his property and let that fucking killer dog off the chain was an insane idea because it would never happen and uh Anyway, I have many more barking dog stories, but I have come to the end of my cup of coffee. And the sun is coming through. And it is getting to be a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. And I need to get out there and enjoy this it will be a sunny blue sky day starting in about five minutes. I think we're heading to 80 degrees again today. Highly encourage you to get out, enjoy your sunny December day while you still can and uh, keep
keep those barking dogs at bay. Bye, guys.